How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a raffle for kick using Botrix. So as you can see, I have that set up right here and I'm using a window capture to be able to capture this because this is really the only way to be able to capture it. But if we go to the actual page here, we have it to where you can give it a command and this is the command that people are going to have to type in chat to be able to be added to the participant side. If you have subs, this gives them like a times two chance of winning and everything like that. And then accepting is to accept all of the participants and to clean is to clean out all the participants. So for example, if I go over to my chat and I type in the command that I gave it, you will then see my name right here. And then once all the names are in, then you can hit accept and then it's gonna do this and you will also see it over here as well because you're doing the window capture for it. So your chat and everyone will be able to see it. And then it gives a countdown saying that, you know, the winner has to type something in chat in order to win. And it could just be something as simple as hi. And then once that's done, then they'll be able to see who is the winner and everything like that. It gives a timestamp and stuff like that. So then if we go back and we hit clean, hit accept, it gets rid of everybody. Now this will work for both OBS and Streamlabs. And to get that, to display on the screen you're just going to click on the plus and we're going to go to window capture and with that window capture it's then going to give you the option of choosing like the window and stuff like that so if you don't see it you may have to go through and mess with these different settings and see which ones you can kind of pick from and try to get it to to show but once you do see it here in the preview then click ok and then you're all set you might need to resize it just a smidge and then that is it. You're all good to go. And then everyone will be able to see it. You can hide it for whenever you don't use it and then bring it back whenever you do by clicking on the eyeball. But yeah, that is pretty much it. That's how you would set it up. It's super simple and it's really cool to be able to have that for people to be able to see. But if you do have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And if you are looking for more streaming tutorials, definitely take a look at the channel as I have a ton and I'm constantly adding more. But if you are just getting into streaming over on Kick, take a look at this playlist here as it's going to help you get started. And if you do want to hang out whenever I do stream, just follow me with the name Creovox over on Kick, and you can ask me questions whenever I'm live, or we can just hang out and play some games. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.